Hills of Kumau are richly endowed with spiritual spaces that have given solace to restless souls since times immemorial. Seekers have walked these slopes searching for insights into the conundrums of human existence. In the 1940s, ardent devotee of Lord Hanuman, Neem Karoli Baba arrived at this leafy enclave on the banks of the river Kosi to establish the Kenchi Dham. From across the world, inclusive souls, seekers like Steve Jobs and Mark Zuckerberg came here and learnt the virtues of simple living. Yet, insights gained here would lead them to innovations that would change our world forever. Drive a few kilometers from Kenchi Dham and you arrive at the imposing monument from the 9th century, the Katarmal Temple. Perhaps the tallest amongst the many magnificent temples of Kumau. Built by Kathuri king Katarmal Dev, it has sundials and exquisite images of Surya Dev, the sun deity. Remarkably, the shrine is so positioned that the first rays of the rising sun, passing through a small chink in the shrine facing the temple, fall on the deity's forehead on the first day of the winter solstice. The shrine itself, built in the Gurjara Pratihara style, has the presiding deity, the sun god, in a rare depiction, shown riding a horse, wearing knee-high boots, a tunic and a pointed hat. Travelling from Katarmal, as one arrives in Almora, one witnesses architecture that is a quirky mix of styles and periods, a prime example being the Badrishwar temple. Its large clock is flanked by inscriptions in Hindi and Urdu, and the conical roof makes it look distinctly Tibetan, while it is the Hindu deity Vishnu that is the object of veneration. Climb a little from here to reach the towering fortress of Malla Mahal that houses the Ram Shila temple. This stone temple is believed to bear the footprints of Lord Rama. Built by Rudra Chand in 1583, it shot into prominence when King Baz Bahadur Chand installed the idol of Goddess Nanda Devi here. The fortress became the seat of the British administration and Commissioner Trail shifted the image of the Goddess to the Nanda Devi temple our next stop. Nanda Devi, an incarnation of Goddess Parvati, is the patron goddess and protector of Almora. Local legends have it that Nanda and Sunanda, daughters of a local chieftain, went into hiding as a mad buffalo chased them. They perished in their hideout and both became divine figures. Nanda now resides in one of the highest peaks in the Uttarakhand Himalayas, named after her. The delicate stone carvings in the Nanda Devi temple represent a variety of themes ranging from divine myths to the erotic, making it one of the most interesting sites in this region, truly the very pinnacle of Kumauni heritage. Albora town is also blessed by the Navadurgas, the nine incarnations of Goddess Durga, and Ashtabhairav, the eight incarnations of Bhairav. One of the remarkable Bhairav shrines is the Shai Bhairav temple, where the spirits of Prince Harihar Chand and a sorcerer still reside. When in Almora, why not visit the deity with his own postal address and legal status? The Golu Temple at Chitai is a unique site of several brass bells and guess what else? Requests on notarized stamp papers. For Golu Devta is the god of quick justice, often the last resort of the oppressed. The serpentine roads from Golu Temple at Chitai lead one to the lush green forests of the Dandeshwar Jageshwar Temple complex home to several exquisitely carved shrines. This is the abode of Lord Shiva, 
where the divine meets the deity and the two unite in moments of divine bliss. It is at Jageshwar that Lord Shiva performed penance for causing destruction after his wife Sati's dismemberment. It is said that at this spot, 12 Jyotirlingams were formed after Lord Vishnu dispelled the darkness, freeing Shiva from the curse of the Saptarishis, the seven sages. On the confluence of the Jad Ganga and the Dud Ganga, amidst a thick cover of Deodar trees, most of them being a hundred feet tall, is the Dandeshwar temple that has a Swayambhu or the self-manifesting Lingam called Nagesh. Slightly upstream is the Jageshwar village and the magnificent Jageshwar Dham with structures dating from the 9th to the 13th centuries. The cluster includes shrines to Jagannath, Bahamrityunjay, Vridha Jageshwar, Koteshwar, Kuber, Navadurga and a temple dedicated to the nine planets or the Navagrahas. Considered one of the twelve original Jyotirlingams, it was customary for pilgrims on the Kailash Mansarovar route to stop and worship Lord Shiva here. The area was also the center of Lakulesh Shaivism, a revivalist sect dedicated to Shiva worship. Come and walk through the ancient temples and shrines around Almora to lose yourself to the divine.